Hello again, guys, and welcome back to another brand new video with me, Tom, from The Honest Meeple. You are joining me on part two of our exploration of games that you can play online, board games specifically that you can play online with your friends. Um, I had some omissions in my last video, um, which have become blindingly obvious to me, um, having kind of had the time to actually sit down and try out some new stuff. So today we are looking at two... Um, two potential applications uh, one that you have to buy from steam um, however there is another one that is free to play online much like board game arena that we spoke about last week um, so we're going to start this video off by looking at uh, board uh, tabletop simulator um, now this is available online um, I say online it's available from steam um, it is currently priced at 14.99 now, while that may put people off, um, obviously Board Game Arena and the like are free, um, it is essentially buy once and then you have a whole wealth of um, board games to try. Uh, this is very much a community driven platform and it's one that I feel bad for missing out in my part one. Um, Hence why we're revisiting it today. Uh, so, uh, as you can see on my screen, uh, you have Tabletop Simulator. Uh, we will um, create a game. Uh, we'll you can join obviously you'll have uh, the option i'll show you quickly so you can actually check um the server names uh, people can create their own servers there is a whole host of different things <laughs> that you can try there are loads of people on this at the moment so don't worry there's no lack of um kind of people to play with uh so let's go to single player to create our own game um, and as you can see, I'm currently in a church. Um, I think it's random, the background, because I've always had different things. But as you can see, you have a variety of different games to try. Uh, so first up, we've got classic. So again, these are very much like on Tabletopia, your classic games. Uh, you've got dominoes, cards. Uh, you can even run your own RPG, which is awesome. Uh, you've got chess, poker, go. Um, you've got a sandbox. You've got mahjong. There is plenty to get your teeth into if you're looking for a classic game. However, um, you also have the ability to buy DLC. Now, don't panic because this is just one side of Tabletop Simulator. Um, so these are kind of professionally produced. And I'm not saying these are the only professionally produced games at all. Um, but these are ones that are available to buy as an add-on to Tabletop Simulator. So you have Wingspan, you have Scythe, you have Viticulture, you have some of the Tiny Epic games. Um, uh, you've got another page here. So yeah, you've even got Blood Rage. Um, so there's plenty there to try. Um, and obviously you can you can buy those. However, this is where it gets interesting and very exciting because, as I say, this is a community-driven platform. So if we go to Workshop, you can see I've already subscribed to various games. Um, now there is so many different games that have been created for tabletop simulator these are just a couple that i picked off um unfortunately it won't let me record my screen while on steam workshop but if you're not familiar with steam it is a thing called steam workshop and it is a community platform where people can create stuff for games that they like um for example you can create stuff for um, team fortress 2 all of those kind of valve games um, but it's the same here obviously this isn't a valve game um, but it is allowing people to create their own style of games. So, for example, you have Fast Sloths, one of my favourite releases um, last year, and we can load that into the game, and you have Fast Sloths as a game ready to play single player. Um, does take a little time to load, um, which is understandable because it, it looks great. <laughs> um and there we go. Loading's complete. You have a full game of Fast Sloths ready to go, and it just looks awesome. Um, you can... Oh, whoops. Um, I'm still getting to the hang of kind of uh, this game. I think you can... Ah, there we go, yeah. So you use the WASD arrow keys to move around the map, but you can see you've got all the cards there. Um, you've got tokens. Everything that you need to play Fast Sloths on your PC. Now, um... I've seen a couple of my friends have been playing this online. Um, the likes of Luke Pryor. Um, you may know him from his uh, ranking ranking of games uh, on the Aircom page with Mark Cook. Um, Luke tried this the other week. Um, I didn't even realise that you could get this on Tabletop Simulator. Um, 
but it looks great. I haven't played it personally yet, but he says I have it under good authority that it is excellent. Um, so yeah, that is Tabletop Simulator. You can um, look. This is a fun little thing. You can uh, decide to flip the board if you really want to. If you've got annoyed at um, uh, at the game, you can flip it in Monopoly style. Um, anyway enough of that um we can return to the main menu um so yeah that is the number number one of this number uh, two list um <laughs> this is tabletop simulator available now on steam for 14.99 um so yeah let's get into the second option that you have available to yourself so this is uh, the second uh, suggestion that I have, and it is called Yukata or Yukata. Yuk I'm going to go with Yukata. Um, it's y u c a t a dot d e, and essentially it is again another online platform, much like Board Game Arena, and you have a whole list of games to get stuck into. As you can see there, you've got everything from Carpe Diem to Imhotep. Um, to Jaipur, Mystic Veil, vale, Snowdonia, Vault. There is so much on here um, to get stuck into. Uh, there's no lack of games. You've got stuff like Port Royal, uh, you've got Vault. Um, as I say, one of the ones that I've been playing recently is Carpe Diem. Uh, so Carpe Diem is by Stefan Felt. I love this game. It is brilliant. And when I noticed that it was on Yucata, I well, I said I noticed Nick uh, from Board Deck and Dice recommended that I go and have a look. Um, I did. And we've been playing a couple of games. Uh, so it's really easy. You can make an account for free. Once you've made the account, you can then start inviting people to games or getting invites from people. All they need is your username. Uh, so this is one that we've been playing. So if I go to my overview... You can see here that I have essentially two games uh, that I have run. Um, oh, well, it says two games. However, there's only one showing. Uh, so if you bear with me, I'll be able to show you exactly what it's like inside a game. And hopefully this should be showing on the screen now. Uh, so I am actually in a turn of Carpe Diem. And it's really self-explanatory. It is suggested that you look at the rules for the game before playing um, because it doesn't give you anything like a tutorial. It is literally just the game and how to play. However, if you perhaps know the basic rules um, but can't remember thoroughly what to do, it does guide you through what to do um, at the bottom there. So it says move your meeple. Um, so if... I mean, this is going to be a bit alien if you haven't seen, if you don't, if you've never played this before. Um, but let's have a look. Where can I go? I'm going to go here because I want to finish off this vineyard to get some grapes. Uh, so I move my meeple to there. I then select my tile and then pop my tile into there. And that is my go finished. Uh, it tells you exactly what to do at the end. You just hit finish turn. And then it's over to Nick's go um, for the for his turn. And it is, it's as simple as that. Um, there's no nothing to get wrong. You can't make wrong moves or whatever. The game won't let you. Um, much like all the others, you, you can't make wrong turns. So don't panic if you don't know the game inside out. It's not going to be a problem. Uh, so if I switch back to the view, there we go. We're back to my uh, my home page. Um, apologies. If for some reason, my computer doesn't like switching between windows. It won't carry on recording. Um, but that's by the by. Uh, so yeah, there, there's plenty of stuff uh, to look at. Let's have a look at Port Royal. A great little card game. I, I love Port Royal uh, from Alexander Pfister, uh, from published by Pegasus Games. Um, they, these are all really nice, slick online games. Again, the the kind of the the UI. Is, is perhaps not as slick as some of these downloadable games platforms. Um, but once you actually play the game, it's it works like an absolute dream. So don't panic if it looks a bit clunky. Um, don't judge a book by its cover. That's all I'll say. Um, but yeah, that is that is Yukata or Yukata, um, the second kind of online platform that I would suggest using. Um, and that is everything for my suggestions on what to use uh, to play board games online, my part two of how to play board games online. I hope it's been informative. I know a lot of you have been commenting down below asking for suggestions on what to play online. Um, please do, if you need suggestions, just just pop them in the comments below. Um, they ping up on my phone, so I'll answer them straight away or as best as I can do. Obviously, 
if it's like two o'clock in the morning, I'll probably be asleep. Um, but yeah, feel free to just ask me anything about these platforms. Um, I've got all of them, so I can I can let you know if you're having problems or if you just need suggestions on what to play. Um, if you want to play a game with me, let me know. I'm more than happy to join in the game. Um, plenty of time on our hands in the evenings. Um, obviously, I'm working from home during the day. Um, but yeah, if you if you're lost for what to what to play and you want to play with uh, play a game with me, just let me know, and I'll be more than happy um, to hop in to a game with yourselves um so that just leads me to say thank you very much for watching i hope you found it informative and helpful and as always guys i will see you all next time